Now that we know how to calculate the molarity of a solution, it's really important to know how to dilute solutions. Many times when you get a solution in a chemistry lab situation, it will be, it will be a very high molarity and you don't need that large uh, concentrated of a solution and so we want to dilute them makes the solution last longer but in some cases it's also a safety concern we don't want to work with really concentrated amounts of hydrochloric acid for instance when we can get away with um, a lower molarity so to dilute solutions this is reducing the number uh, it reduces the number of moles per sol of the solute per unit of volume uh, but it's your total number of moles in your original solution isn't changing. So you've made your solution, let's say you have a 10 molar solution. So you have your certain amount of moles in your, you know, certain amount of volume. So you're just taking maybe a 100 liter solution, maybe you're only taking a, a liter of that and you're diluting it down. So you're adding more water. You're not changing the number of moles that were there. You're just changing the liters of solution, so therefore you're getting new molarity. So you're not adjusting the amount of moles. The equation is going to look like this. M is the molarity, so we're taking the molarity of our first solution times the volume of that solution. And you need to know what molarity it is you want for your second. Okay, whatever molarity you're trying to make and how much of that you need so that we can figure out um, you know how much usually we have to figure out how much liquid we need to dilute it down so usually we know the two molarities and we know one of the volumes alright so volumes can be here in milliliters or liters it does not matter as long as they're both the same so that they will cancel each other out you don't have to use a specific one in your equation it can be either so let's do a practice problem here we have um, well, we want to know how many milliliters of a two molar solution, uh, how much of that do we need so that we can dilute it to a 0.4 molar solution, and we need 100 milliliters of that 0.4 molar. So molar one is the original stock solution of 2.00 molar. And what we don't know is how much of that do we need. How much do we need of that so that we can get our new molarity of 0 0.400 and we know that we need 100 milliliters of that. Alright, so if we set up our problem, and again it never hurts to write the equation down, we have 2.00 molar times Rx. Our second molarity was 0 0.400 molar, and we needed 100 milliliters of that. So to get x, we have to solve by the two molar on both sides. And your answer is 20.0 milliliters. So if I wanted to make this 0.4 molar, and I needed 100 milliliters of that, I would take 20 milliliters of my original 2 molar and I would add 80 more milliliters of water so I'm not changing my moles but I'm just diluting my original solution down so I need 20 milliliters of my original practice problem number two you're going to be doing on your own you're going to set it up exactly the same way as we have uh, the previous example we know our first molarity that's our more concentrated one, but we don't know how much of that we need. So again, just like our first problem, you're looking for V1. We know that our solution that we do want, we need 250 milliliters, and we want it to be a 0 0.760 molar solution. So we know our two molarities, we know our second volume, and we're looking for how much of our original we need so that we can dilute it. And I'll be checking that one when I walk around in class to check your notes. If you have any questions, like always, please let me know.